All right, this is spot number three today for Bobcat calling. So far we're over two and we've only hit, well, we've only hit two spots, but it's already noon. We got the truck buried for two hours. Had to call in, call in uh, rescue. Thanks to my cousin Josh for coming out and pulling us off the, off the old swamp we got stuck in like idiots. So, uh, hopefully maybe we'll have a little luck now and make our day a little better calling a cat or a coyote, whichever would be great. So stay tuned here, see what we can do. See that pine tree up there? See the pine tree up there? Okay, he's just to the left of it. I got him all on the camera, buddy. Just get ready. Here he comes. You'll see him, just hold on. He's standing still. He don't know what to do. See the two biggest trees with snow on them to the left of the pine tree? Yeah. The only trees with snow that oaks. Okay. Look at the base of them, he's right between them. See him? He's right between them. He's coming? Yeah, he's slow. He's just standing right now, but he's. Yeah, go ahead, move on. Okay, go down. On this, see him? Moving left. God damn it, I didn't need to get on him because you could shoot him if he wants to back off. He's on 160 yards. He's heading now. Woo! Hand me that gun. Oh no, no, not like that. Shit. Where's your, where's your safety? Where's your zoom? Fuck. <laughs> Fucking gone. You got him. Where is he? He's up on the hill. He's running away. Got him. Nice. I hit him. I, s I just saw him disappear in the woods. He's not dead. I hit him, but he's not dead, I don't think. Fuck. <sighs> Look like a decent sized one, too. Big one. I heard. I, I, I couldn't see him. I heard the bullet hit. I know it's hard to see in that shit, dude. I hit him. Yeah. I don't know where I hit him. He didn't look like he was hurt that bad, but I heard the bullet hit. I, I saw him fucking spin around. You did? Yeah. I wish you could have gotten. You'd have got way more still, and we would have hit. Dang it! There you go. I just had to take it because he was heading out. He was that, going away. Fine. I get it. Damn it. Well, we'll go see if there's any blood. There's gonna be blood, but the way he was moving, there's no way he was dying. No way. If I'd have put a lethal shot at him, there's no way. He'd have took off way harder. Well, I got that coyote shot here. As you guys could see on the film, Tom couldn't see him and he was heading out, so I had to take the gun, but he looked like he was hit good, but when he ran away, he didn't look too bad, but we're on blood right here and it's spraying all over, so we'll see if it turns out or not. I mean, yeah, that don't look like. Are you sure? I thought he looked alive. Oh, well, if he was, he's not now. There, he's dead. Well, he was barely alive, but Tom just put the finishing shot on. Nice shot, dude. Well, we got the coyote down here. Well, that's the first confirmed kill with this gun. And first, first confirmed kill with the old Mossberg 223. 
50 grain uh, Barnes Varmint Grenade Bullet sitting on top of 22.4 grains of H335 powder and Winchester brass. Nice. So. Yeah, it's uh, high noon here in Wisconsin. Noon o'clock. This is my first midday dog in quite a long time here in the winter time, especially. Had the rabbit calm for what, two or three minutes? If that. Yeah, and I looked up and here he come. But yeah, Tom just couldn't quite see him good. It was so much foliage and scrub oak trees that he couldn't see him only I had eyes on him and he didn't like something so we uh he gave me the gun and I put the shot on him and he was laying here dying but Tom I'm just glad somebody shot the damn shot something with this gun before I shot my cat because my main concern with this bullet was is it wasn't going to get enough muzzle velocity yeah right and it's going to blow through him and leave a big ass entrance yeah, hole well right. this confirmed that that's not going to happen is it a male or female <gasps> male male little male huh. Well, sweet. We got something done today, so we'll continue on to the next spot.